this, this is Nicole with Health Beauty and More. And I know a lot of people think highly of Starbucks, the large corporation that serves so many people, makes quite a bit of money. Um, of course, corporations generally are motivated by greed and money. And they have quite a following, and I realize that. Uh, that I am guilty myself of taking advantage of their sweet treats and stuff. But the reality of it is you're not getting the best quality. The organic is not really truly organic, like especially when it says organic milk. It has to be fermented to be organic, and it's not. So if you use any kind of cream in your coffee, beware of that. And as far as decaf, they don't use a Swiss pro a process, which is more amenable to the purity and in the decaffeination process that is safer, healthier. Um, I'll go through some of the things that I've read about the uh, Starbucks, and I've heard this more than one time. So, their coffee beans are sprayed with a lot of pesticides, yet only 1.1% of Starbucks coffee is organic. Yeah, 1.1%. The, the decaf coffee is not healthy. A lot of, and I myself prefer to drink decaf coffee. Uh, they soak their coffee beans in a solution that is toxic soup. Soup full of solvents of chemicals like methylene chloride, a human carcinogen the targets the central nervous system or they use ethyl acetate another central nervous system poison also considered harmful to our kidneys and our liver so uh, the OTA stands for organic trade organization uh, they talk about decaffeinated coffee and how what their standards go by. There's two methods that they use that are permitted to comply with the federal organic standards. The Swiss water process, which is an exclusively water-based decaffeinated process, or a non-toxic carbon dioxide process. Back in 2007, Consumer Reports issued they report comparing coffees at the most popular food chains, ranking Starbucks as just um, behind McDonald's. I don't know at that point if McDonald's have changed their coffee to the premier coffee that they have now. So that may have changed because that's been a number of years ago. But they did say Starbucks was a strong coffee and a lot of times they called it burnt and bitter. Um, and the cows were that, well, of course you get your milk from the cows and then the concentrated animal operations were poorly fed. The cows were poorly fed, not, not well taken care of. They injected them with antibiotics during their entire life cycle. That a very poor diet of genetically modified foods like corn and soy and alfalfa and cottonseed. So Starbucks is a supporter of big dairy. According to Organic Consumer Association in 2011, Starbucks used over 93 million gallons of milk a year, enough to fill a huge 155 Olympic sized swimming pool. Starbucks has grown since then, no doubt, and the milk figures have climbed as well. What they call organic soy milk, and when you look it up, don't be fooled by the word organic, which indicates, research indicates that the only healthy soy that fit, is fit for human consumption is the fermented soy. So I wanted you to know that and then the toxic goods that they eat, they call their baked items, are devoid of nutrition. They're full of uh, chemicals 
derived flours and sugars, cellulose gum, indigestible wood pulp, cheap toxic oils like soy and canola and corn. Also, carbon carbonamide is banned in several countries, but they use it. It's also linked to asthma. Propylene glycol is a petrol-based chemical that they use in antifreeze. That's in their toxic baked goods. Enjoy your muffins. Enjoy your banana bread. Don't worry about the toxins. Sodium benzoate. Don't worry about it. It's just used in popular iced lemon pound cake. Mmm. Wouldn't that be delicious? Sodium benzo benzoate combined with vitamin C. You know what it does? It transforms into a cancer-causing agent, thereby destroying your DNA cells. So go for your Starbucks. Make them rich. Enjoy all their coffee. Don't worry about breast cancer or prostate cancer. Who knows what else is involved here. Go see for yourself if you don't understand. There's going to be a lot of good stuff written about Starbucks. Why? Because corporations know how to market. But do your research and look for the actual tests. See for yourself and go back to Starbucks whenever you want. This is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty and More. Have a happy, happy time. Enjoy your Starbucks. Yeah!